Today I'm gonna to take y'all a day in the life of a tire technician slash social media manager because I do most of the social media stuff So I'll take you on the office and then also I'll kind of like do some tire stuff and also give you all some tips and tricks along the way Okay guys, so welcome to my office right now I am in the part of the day that I love the most This is social media creation content creation right now I'm just researching what works in the tire industry and also what doesn't work in the tire industry And this is a big tip for all y'all social media marketers and people who own their own businesses And they take care of the social media as well and y'all run on Instagram and Facebook So one thing that's like killing right now and it also works on YouTube obviously keyword optimization so what I've been doing on Facebook and Instagram is just like giving a detailed description on every post that I do of the services that we do I'm using keywords like flat repair new tires used tires alignment literally every service that we do I try to explain it thoroughly in our post and whenever people look up for example flat repair near me guess what the Facebook post is gonna come out on Google and also it's gonna come out on Facebook so like that you get more people to reach out to you and also you get a lot more likes and y'all know that this whole meta thing is going on on Facebook and with Instagram and it's all the same people. Right now I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna take you outside so y'all can see how your boy grinds. Sometimes I hunt for the storm just to weather it. Prefer them deadly than challenge accepted and don't get too friendly. My motor. Okay, guys, so we finally got some customers. We have three customers here right now. And not only do I do the social media stuff, I also do get my hands dirty in case y'all were wondering. I'm out here also doing the tire technician stuff. So that's pretty much what I do. The one thing that I personally don't really know too much about and I don't really like to learn about because it's really confusing to me is all the wheel stuff. So all the tire stuff I pretty much know how to do and how to sell, which that is like pretty much the fundamental of having a tire shop, right? But the the one thing that I really don't enjoy and it's really just overwhelming and I'm just being lazy is this wheel stuff. There's just so many numbers like there's like the lug stuff, the negative measurements, the positive measurements. I'm probably saying all this wrong but at the same time it's just because like I've never really put the time in to like really like worry or care about it. At least I'm being honest. If you really want to be like an overall good salesman and just overall person in general it'd be very important for you not only to know the tires but also the wheels as well obviously. Okay guys so we're finally back from the shop and let's go ahead and review this job. Very simple I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five out of ten. It's it's all right. Basically on a scale from 0% to 100%, I'm giving it a 50%, very simple. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain why. It's not the worst job ever. Of course, you can you can do some harder stuff, like be sometimes some oil field jobs or even being like a, in a construction worker can be a lot harder. But the thing with the tire industry, it's cool and everything, the labor's fine. I'm not really fond of it. I'm not that type of person. I'm more of a geek. I like doing stuff in the computer and that's just my forte, right? That's the thing where I've always been happy and I will always be happy, you know what I mean? I, and I really love customer service. I come from a customer service background, but the thing is that whenever you go to the tire industry the customer service is gonna be a lot different and the good thing is that I have the pleasure of having my dad's experience because he's been doing this for 35 years and he just knows pretty much the ins and outs of this business and he always reminds me that in this industry people are always gonna be in a bad mood no matter what trust me no matter if you're on the phone or you're in person talking to these people they're always gonna tell you the whole life story of the tire and they're always gonna be in a bad mood it's always your fault why it happened right it's always like the tire technicians fault why everything's going on with their tires and they're just gonna treat you really bad and just because you have a little bit of dirt on your clothes or even on your face they're just gonna treat you kind of like scum sometimes and that's what I really don't like I, I don't like that the respect factor is not there because I come from a background of like retail sales and what I always loved about retail sales is that they always like treated you with respect but here like I said they're always in a bad mood and you can just kind of tell these people just kind of treat you like crap of course there's a lot of other people that treat you very nice and um, this only happens with a handful of people since these people are coming into a tire shop and they're already expecting to spend a lot of money they're already gonna be upset about it you know what I mean so it makes sense I understand but at the same time I'm not sympathetic to these people but that's one of the reasons I really rank this job very low in my opinion okay away from that aspect a lot of people are gonna ask me like oh how's the pay how's this because I've made videos like this before and they're always asking about the pay and it's hard to say because some jobs do start at ten dollars and there's other places like the dealerships for being a lube tech which is doing like literally oil changes and doing stuff on the tire you're literally gonna be getting paid like maybe sixteen to eighteen dollars an hour it just really depends where you go the best thing to do is like try to learn like at a family-owned shop like learn as much as you can and then eventually after you get your expertise then maybe you know brand out to bigger mechanic shops and just like really do your thing you can either grow there or like start branching out to other companies where you can make more money you know what I mean because you never know you can be a manager or something at that job and it can really benefit you in the long run other than that you also can make money on the tips right you can make a lot of money for doing like air checks depending on the place that you work at they might let you do that they might not let you do that it just depends so in reality you might not be making ten dollars you might not be making fifteen dollars an hour or you might not even be making eighteen dollars an hour you might be making more because of the cash tips so how fast does it take to learn this stuff 
to be honest with you it shouldn't really take you that long if you're a fast learner whenever it comes to like being mechanically inclined i've seen a lot of people just like really pick this up really fast someone like me it took me a little longer because literally the only expertise i had was retail sales at a supplement shop versus going to this kind of stuff i was just not mechanically inclined so it took me a little longer if you have some prior experience i'm pretty sure it's gonna like you're gonna pick it up really easy that's that's honestly all you really have to know about trying to be a tire technician and how you can maximize the money you can make and how you can live a happy life if that's what you really want to do okay guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here if you enjoyed this kind of content i'll go ahead and make it some more content for you and be a little bit more in depth like that just leave your questions down below and i'll answer them for you anyway guys i really appreciate you watching this video see y'all later peace